equations with one variable substitution method so you know the difference between an equality and an equation what is an equation an equation is a mathematical statement that has variables constants and an equal to sign we use variables like x y z m p etc in equations the equations are true only for certain values of the variable consider this equation 15 minus c is equal to 12 let's see for which value of c the equation is true when c is equal to 1 15 minus c is equal to 15 minus 1 which is equal to 14 when c is equal to 2 15 minus c is equal to 15 minus 2 which is equal to 13 When c is equal to three, fifteen minus c is equal to fifteen minus three, which is equal to twelve. So, when c is equal to three, fifteen minus c is equal to twelve, and the equation is true. So we can say that c is equal to three is the solution of the equation. Consider this equation: p plus four is equal to nine. Let's see for which value of p the equation is true. When p is equal to two, p plus four is equal to two plus four, which is equal to six. When p is equal to three, p plus four is equal to three plus four, which is equal to seven. When p is equal to four, p plus four is equal to four plus four, which is equal to eight. When p is equal to five, p plus four is equal to five plus four, which is equal to nine. So when p is equal to five. P plus four is equal to nine, and the equation is true. So we can say that p is equal to five is the solution of the equation. Solution is that value of the variable which makes the statements on both the sides of the equal sign equal. We found this solution of the equation by trial and error method. That means we tried out different values. and one of them was the correct answer let's try one more example and see consider this equation 10m is equal to 100 let's see for which value of m the equation is true when m is equal to 3 10m is equal to 10 into 3 which is equal to 30 when m is equal to 6 10m is equal to 10 into 6 which is equal to 60 When m is equal to eight, ten m is equal to ten into eight, which is equal to eighty. When m is equal to ten, ten m is equal to ten into ten, which is equal to hundred. So only when m is equal to ten, we get the value of ten m as hundred. So we can say that m is equal to ten is the solution of the equation. Let's try one more example and see. Consider this equation: 5m is equal to 20. Let's see for which value of m the equation is true. When m is equal to 1, 5m is equal to 1 into 5, which is equal to 5. When m is equal to 2, 5m is equal to 2 into 5, which is equal to 10. When m is equal to 3, 5m is equal to 3 into 5, which is equal to 15. When m is equal to 4. 5m is equal to 4 into 5 which is equal to 20 so only when m is equal to 4 we get the value of 5m as 20 so we can say that m is equal to 4 is the solution of the equation so we know that an equation is true for only certain values of the variable we call that value the solution of the equation When we put the correct value of the variable in the equation, the LHS and RHS become equal. What is LHS and RHS? LHS is the left-hand side of the equal to sign. RHS is the right-hand side of the equal to sign. Five m is equal to twenty. Five m is the LHS. Equal to sign. Twenty is the RHS. LHS and RHS look different but because of the equal to sign we know that they are the same 
LHS is equal to RHS. Consider the last example we solved. 5M is equal to 20. When we put M is equal to 4, it becomes 5 into 4 which is equal to 20. Therefore, 20 is equal to 20. So, LHS is equal to RHS. Hence, we can also say that a certain value is the solution of the equation only if at that value the LHS becomes equal to RHS. So, if we are given a solution to the equation, we can say whether it is correct or not by checking the LHS and RHS for that value of the variable. Let us try some exercises based on this. Check if the number given in the bracket is a solution to this equation. 3y plus 4 is equal to 5y minus 4. In brackets, 4. Let's put y is equal to 4 and solve LHS. LHS is equal to 3y plus 4 which is equal to 3 into 4 plus 4 which is equal to 12 plus 4 which is equal to 16. Let's put y is equal to 4 and solve RHS. RHS is equal to 5y minus 4, which is equal to 5 into 4 minus 4, which is equal to 20 minus 4, which is equal to 16. Is the LHS equal to the RHS? 16 is equal to 16. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. Is 4 a solution of this equation? Yes. Let's take a look at another one. y plus 3 is equal to 7. In brackets, 4. Let's put y is equal to 4 and solve LHS. LHS is equal to 4 plus 3 which is equal to 7. And RHS of the equation is 7. Therefore, RHS is equal to 7. Is the LHS equal to the RHS? 7 is equal to 7. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. Is 4 a solution of this equation? Yes. Let's take a look at another one. 13P is equal to 78. In brackets, 2. Let's put P is equal to 2 and solve LHS. LHS is equal to 13P which is equal to 13 into 2 which is equal to 26. And RHS of the equation is 78. Therefore, RHS is equal to 78. Is the LHS equal to the RHS? 26 is not equal to 78. Therefore, LHS is not equal to the RHS. So, is 2 a solution of this equation? No. Let's take a look at another one. 3n is equal to n plus 5 in brackets 6. Let's put n is equal to 6 and solve LHS. LHS is equal to 3n which is equal to 3 into 6 which is equal to 18. Let's put n is equal to 6 and solve RHS. RHS is equal to n plus 5 which is equal to 6 plus 5 which is equal to 11. Is the LHS equal to the RHS? 18 is not equal to 11. Therefore, LHS is not equal to RHS. Is 6 a solution to this equation? No. Let's take a look at another one. 5M plus 3 is equal to 19 plus M. In brackets, 4. Let's put M is equal to 4 and solve LHS. LHS is equal to 5M plus 3, which is equal to 5 into 4 plus 3, which is equal to 20 plus 3, which is equal to 23. Let's put M is equal to 4 and solve RHS. RHS is equal to 19 plus M, which is equal to 19 plus 4, which is equal to 23. Is the LHS equal to the RHS? 23 is equal to 23. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. Is 4 a solution of this equation? Yes. Now you know about the substitution method. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.